Hi, I'm Daryl as a service at your service. I'm excited today because our friend Francesco from Keeping Productive has released his Bento app, the, the productivity app that's going to help us manage our tasks. And I excitedly pre-ordered it and today here it is, the email. Maybe I'm the first in the world to install it apart from the, the beta people who helped him trial it. But I've got that um, that email from iTunes to be able to install it. So I have installed it excitedly. <laughs> um, it is all sitting there waiting, but I haven't gone through the first uh, first few steps. This video is going to be all about just taking a quick look, and, and I'm going to try and get practical with it very quickly. Um, I am going to show you. I'll have to blur out a few things, but I'm going to use it on real tasks. And I'll use code names as I add them into my Bento box. Uh, but I want to be able to show you practically. So what is Bento? Well, we're going to open it up and uh, talk a little about what, what it is and what it does. Bento is about, it's a companion app really. It, you use it alongside other task apps. So it's not about trying to replace it, but more about trying to get your, your tasks into a manageable state. Um, I, as you will see soon, have a lot of different places where I store tasks, lots of different applications. And, uh, and also places that I need to be able to collaborate with, with people as well on those tasks. But for personal use, I want to be able to get my tasks into, into a manageable state where I feel like I'm getting stuff done. And that can be quite demoralizing when you see this massive list of tasks and you just don't know where to start. You prioritize them and then you look back and, and it's, it's really overwhelming to be able to look in all these different silos and places where tasks are stored. Uh, so this is great. I'm going to be use Bento alongside the other tasks that, or the other task applications that I use throughout my day. So I want you to, to take a quick look with me at some of these uh, places that I store tasks. Um, I use Planner within Microsoft Teams, and here's an example of a plan uh, that I that I used for a project. And this was good because we collaborated uh, as a team to try and get work done. We had. Uh, different buckets of tasks and things like that. But again, I want to be able to manage my own list and know that I'm contributing to that. Um, we also, um, in my team, have been using for a little while a, a list of tasks in a Miro board. So this is just a, a Kanban board, uh, and it's something that we use in our meetings, which I'll be using shortly with my team. Um, to be able to just drag things around, prioritize, and have some awareness of what's going on. We use this uh, instead of Planner because we all get a good view of everyone's tasks across the, uh, the different things that we're working on. Uh, so this is good. Again, same problem. If I look at uh, all of these tasks, and I've probably blurred them out, but you can see that there's different swim lanes for different clients and projects and things. Very, very overwhelming. Again, I want to bring it all into one place and have a realistic uh, list of things that I think I can get through today that will, will make me feel quite productive, keeping productive. Um, so, yeah, the interesting thing about this is that Bento as an app is not just an app. And it is, it is beautiful and simplistic, as, as I've seen from the uh, promo videos and things that, uh, that Francesco has taken us through. It is also a methodology. It is about simplifying and trying to, to make it easier for you to manage your tasks. So um, that's the other place that I store tasks, of course, uh, with Planner and To Do. To Do is another place where I could manage my personal list of tasks across all the projects that I have. Yep, tons of those, and maybe mingle them in with personal tasks as well. Again, overwhelming. Um, and it's not to say that I couldn't manner those a bit better and maybe put them into lists and things, but I'm trying to get down to a list of three things, as Bento is going to help me, to just get things done and make some progress. So let's have a look at Bento and try and use some uh, real tasks that I, I need to create. Uh, so this is a first impressions video. I'm going to go in and Create a bento box. Now, if you're a sushi fan, you will get the, the concept. Um, it is a box with compartments, and you can load it up with uh, the different kinds of food that you like. Well, um, this, in the task sense, is about creating a bento box. And there's three different ways to do this. Uh, a workflow that will help you get through the tasks in a priority that you, you think will be manageable. 
Uh, so there is Eat the Frog, which is getting the largest thing done, working your way to the smallest. There's Climb the Summit, which is medium pace, large and then small. So I guess that's like part way up the hill and then down a bit. And then the Slow Burn, which is the smallest right through to the largest task. And they really suit the different energy levels that you might have. I'm a person who has a lot of energy in the morning, but I also have to be mindful that I work with a team um, who is spread across the US and New Zealand. And uh, sometimes my time has to overlap with what they do. So their energy might be at a certain level at the end of central US time, whereas mine is high at the beginning of my New Zealand day and I've got to organize my tasks. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll just start off with I think I'll start with the medium, uh, the climb, the summit, medium, large, small, because that will suit the way that I work with my team across those two locations. Um, I have, okay, I have a list of um, different ways of, oh, okay, I see. So I can add my tasks to each of these three lines, and each of those tasks are going to have a timer, um, so that's cool. That means that I can... Use it a bit like a, what is it called, a Pomodoro timer, uh, where I can literally set that task uh, in motion and I can just focus on that for a certain period of time. Now, I'm just going to check on my list here of, of the things that I might want to work on. I know I've got a, uh, let's see, large one, which is I'm preparing a presentation of Viva Connections. All right, so that's going to be a significant task. I've got to go deep in that, get creative, but also make sure I'm covering all the points that I need to. And it's going to be targeted to an internal comms group, so I have to be really in the zone um, to certainly stay and <laughs> impress them because that, they're really going to pick up on certain details. So I need that concentration. Okay, so I've given that task a name. I can set the timer to whatever I want. I generally find that, that 60 minutes is a good time for me to, to focus on something. I am working on trying to increase my time of concentration, but I find that that's, that's a good period of time. I might even like try 45 or 50 minutes if, if 50 minutes was available, but 60 will do for now. It is a large task. That's good. What else is there? Okay, those are all the options. Um, so if I just tap that up arrow, I've got large chosen. I believe that is it. I think I just tap outside of that. And yes, there it is. It's the, th the second one down, 60 minutes. Add a medium task now. I think the medium task will be statement of work. For whoop, training session. Right. I won't necessarily put the name in there, but medium task, 45 minutes. That's a good start. Now, it, it isn't going to be that I necessarily get the task completed by then, but I think a 45-minute session will get through a good a good amount of, um, of uh, contribution to that statement of work. Okay, and tap. And then what can I do as a small task? Her. You know, these are, these are things which are, are good to just do which don't take a lot of concentration. Um, they just get them out of the way, but they need to be done. I know what I can do. I'll uh, follow up on comms with client in. Right, so that's a 15 minute task. I do need to get back to this client, see how things are going. Um, it is important to me to be able to do that, and it should only take about 15 minutes, so that's good. Okay, so I've got this gorgeous looking looking app here, which uh, there's some animations going. I've got a list of three achievable tasks. Um, it's going to help me get through my main task list, which is great. Uh, what else is there? Hey, look, I've noticed there too, I quite like this, this detail where the large task has three chevrons or arrows, the medium has a couple of smaller arrows, and the smallest task is a small arrow. So nice little hints there about um, what 
what the task is about. Now I know there's probably a lot more in this app, but I just want to use this um, to start my day. It's Monday here in New Zealand, uh, the 4th of April. Um, so this is brilliant. Um, and I, what I'm going to do, I'll just, I want to show you this too. I'm going to lay it down here on this cool little mobile tripod that I have. I just want to show you how this will look. Would you look at that? That's beautiful. So I'm going to have that in front of me during the day and I can check in on things and, and see how am I tracking with that particular task. Now I'm not going to start this task um, right now to actually complete it and work on it, but I just want to see what this is like so I can start that timer and then I'll come back and I'll work on, on that presentation. So if I just tap my way into task number two, Okay, well that's just editing it. Done. How do I start it? I guess I tap these arrows. Yes, there it is. So I'm ready to go with the task. So the arrows are all about trying to get into that focused zone and then being able to start that timer. So it looks looks pretty good. I mean, if I start that timer now and I can pause the timer, which I am going to do. But... Um, I do want to point out too here, quite a nice little aesthetic here of seeing fish just swimming around nicely. Um, I'll be able to glance down and see that. I assume that the um, the the screen will probably dim. You know, it's going to use my my iPhone power settings as expected. Um, so when I let's see, we'll come back here, start the timer, just purposefully turn the screen off. I come back in here. Yep, time is still going. Uh, so, sure, I might not always have the the Bento app open and, and visually reminding me, hey, I'm focusing on that task, but um, at least it's there and I can see it ticking away. Um, so, this is going to be good. Let's finish off. I'll see how it goes um, throughout the day. I'm going to be trying to use it on and off throughout the week. Now let's try and use it all week. Um, I do want to try and see how it f makes me feel productive. Um, is it going to keep me feeling productive? Am I going to make it through some of those tasks and knock them off my list? Now remember, it's a partner app. It's not that it's replacing the different places. Excuse me, that I've got that I've got tasks um, and that I'm managing them, collaborating on them. But it's my own personal bento box to be able to manage a few tasks and get them done. I should pause that timer while I'm at it. That's cheating, right? I haven't really started work on it. Uh, be interesting to see if I could reset that timer. But yeah, thank you uh, to Keeping Productive and uh, the Bento app uh, team. I know that you've been hard at work to make this app and I look forward to giving you some more feedback. And if you're interested in checking out the Bento app, then go to bentomethod.com. Um, you're going to find uh, a way to... Um, well, find the app, um, sign up to the newsletter as well. Uh, you'll see a, a video there from, from Francesco and team about how the Bento app works. And he is going to be putting out some more content on Keeping Productive. Let's go to YouTube. Keeping Productive and it will be um, some things around the methodology and just sort of, sort of encouraging us along about what that is all about. Let's jump in here. I think he did release a video all about that. Well, look for that video to be uh, to be published in, in a little while. I think I'm a bit early because I'm here in New Zealand. But thanks all for tuning in. Uh, watch this space. I'll let you know how the Bento method works for me. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.